Aaron, between seven pitchers being needed tonight, the way everything unfolded in that 10th inning and the game ending on a wild pitch, what did it take to squeeze out a win tonight? A couple wild pitches there. Um, but no, good job, you know, getting behind the eight ball there a little bit, obviously, early down 4 nothing, a big inning to get us back in it, and, and they fought right back. Um, you know, big homer, but... You know, not perfect. It never, you know, it's the season's not going to be that way. So, just glad we were able to continue to kind of grind and grind. Bullpen uh, came in and did a really nice job for us to give us a chance, and and we're able to outlast them tonight. Luis Severino obviously left early with shoulder tightness. What was the first sign for you and your coaches in terms of seeing what was wrong? Well, a little bit the velocity down. Um, then when I talked to him after the first inning, you know, he's just like. A little leery of letting it go, but he kept saying, I feel really good. Something was telling him to hold back a little bit. So, um, you know, that was the biggest thing. And, 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 you know, sometimes he can be that way a little bit early, you know, where he's kind of, he'll kind of ease into it a little bit. And, and I think in his mind with his injury history, he, he gets a little cautious. But the whole time he was saying, I feel really good. Um, but then, you know, there's nothing there from a tightness standpoint. And I said, if you feel anything, you got to, you know, and he was he was dead set on that. So I'm glad he did that, and we'll see what we got tomorrow. What would you think of Clay's performance coming off last night? Really good. I mean, you know, walks the first batter and, and obviously struggling a little bit with his command again there early and, you know, you know, frankly, facing a little bit of adversity there. You're right. It comes in all shapes and sizes throughout the year. I don't care who you are, best reliever in the league. You know, the last couple nights been a grind for him, and he, he kind of – figured it out and grinded his way through it, made some big pitches, got us back in the dugout. So, you know, <clears throat> just proud of that effort and, and knowing that, you know, you're staring at a little bit of adversity out there trying to find it, and he did. I know it could be a little premature, but with Severino's situation, does that change the weak plans for Domingo Herman yet? Um, not necessarily, but I, I, it, I mean, it's possible. Um, you know, we'll start to have those conversations, kind of try and get our arms around what, what we have with Seve, and, and then we'll go from there. Andy and Brian. So the, the way you describe it, it sort of sounds like he just couldn't get loose rather than any sort of pain and, and just didn't persist for the... Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> 